Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here, and we're back in Tame the World. And of course, there's Thunder. It's a clear day. What? Is, I don't know. Um, yeah, as you notice, all our stuff is gone. Except for this cover <laughs> niche. <laughs> Why do you waste my time? So wrong. Anyways, it is time to leave this place, this, this tornado ravaged land. And start heading to our new home. But first, we're going to do this. Because I want some of these. Oh. Can I replant bamboo? Uh, let's just grab some just in case. Let's grab everything we can. But we are going to set off to our no new locale. Which you guys probably saw in here as three question marks. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Modi Industries. Yes. We have built ourselves a three-story, above-ground base in a world with tornadoes. And there is an elephant. Okay, so there's stuff right here. What's that? Oh, it's bamboo. All right, so this is what we built. This is Modi Industries. This is our land. I haven't done much with it besides the building. All of that is going to be what we are going to be doing together in this pack. Um, we do have a couple of these guys that happen to be in the area and they just got walled in when I did the whole thing. And if we talk to them, they're basically just, they're traveling merchants, but they're not traveling too far because they're stuck here. And it looks like both of them have the exact same trait. Well, that sucks. And we have a couple of sheep and we have a couple of holes that I don't know how they got here, but I'm in one. All right, and we're not 100% lit up. I already did move all of our stuff inside to Modi Industries. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get to work. We'll kind of just kind of show. So basically right now it is very primitive. Everything is in the middle of the room. We are, we are currently in, the, in the, the job of moving. There are no elevators in this pack, but as you can see, we got a second floor and finally a third floor. Now something I did in preparation for this is now you guys might want to be sitting down why you're watching a video standing up I don't get it. I was smart this is a area that runs in the back of the building okay it's behind the wall if you notice as we go down the floors are three thick why because there is a gap between the ceiling and the floor this is an empty gap and this is empty back here why might you be asking? Because I was smart enough to think ahead about running wires, about running conduits, pipes, anything else. So as you can see, if we pop in over here, that is in between the first and second floor. There's another one up there so that we can go up and run wiring in the back of the building. So there we go. All right, so I did tell you guys I did build this in game mode. I built the wall. I built all this stuff. And that was really just to save my time on mining. All right, well, now you guys are in Modi Industries. Uh, you can see we have our blocks. We have an extra chest. We have our food. We have our tools. We have our plants, our miscellaneous, our ores and ingots and, and whatnots, and finally this stuff. So, in between, okay, and one, one other last thing to kind of show you guys, and I got very lucky. I was having a hell of a time finding diamonds, just like it was before. You know, I'm going to sleep because this place is not protected at all. All right, and let's see, let's just pop into bed. Come on, it's nighttime enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Help me out, elephant. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right, hopefully we can get a little bit more established before uh, one of them blood moons comes back. That was fun. Wasn't that fun, kids? And I don't think I have anything in my backpack. Nope. Okay, cool. So we're all cleaned up. We're all clear. We're all ready to go. Now, uh, I was having a heck of a time finding diamonds. I did see and ended up getting one. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to start a uh, mine. So I went over here, and you can see you got a little two by two down into a sploosh, some water. And right there was like four or five diamonds. 
I haven't gotten insanely far in here, but you can kind of see that we got ourselves a little bit of a controlled mine. So, and you know what? The funny part is I put the ladder up and then I realized I could just do that. Okay. So, let's jump back into our book and get back to Taming the World. But first, let's eat something. Let's eat a bacon mushroom burger. This should take care of us quite well for a while. All right. So, now, let's pop in here. And let's see. Chapter 1, The Basics. Uh, it wanted us to make a diamond pickaxe. It wanted us to make a weather machine. Right-click to cycle. And it also still wanted us to fight a creeper. I actually never came across one when we were over here. And then this one needs to get sugar cane, which we can work on. All right, agriculture. Uh, it wants us to get an apple core and make some fish traps. We are going to have to make some water areas. Decoration gets us into just making some blocks. So we are going to start kind of chugging along here and trying to get through as much of the stuff as we can. All right, and then chapter two, the beginning, wanted us to get... Now, it wanted us to get gold ore. I did get that, that it did, did gold ingots, so I stopped right there. So I have them. It didn't count them for some reason, but I'm fine with that. So, all right, so let's see if we can kind of just keep going uh, somewhat in order. So we need to make a diamond pickaxe, and as you can see, I have six, so I found five and C1. All right, let's get a couple of these, and let's go ahead and make ourselves one handy-dandy diamond pickaxe. All right, cool. All right, so that should take care of that, and then we need to get 10 obsidian, so we're going to have to kind of hold off on that one. Uh, the next one was to make a weather machine, so let's go ahead and look that up. Weather machine. Uh, let's see, weather machine. Diamond, four redstone, four iron. Should be able to do that. So, diamond, there's four iron, and here is four redstone. Perfect. Okay. Now, somebody had said that some of these machines, like, make things... I, I'm, I'm afraid to use these things. A weather deflector might be a good thing, and that's what we need to make. So a weather deflector is made up of a weather machine, four iron, and four redstone. So we can do that. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Perfect. And let's do this and that. And there's that. Now, if we put this, let's just stick this bad boy like back here. And I guess this thing just gets rid of weather, which might be pretty awesome. So, all right, and that gets us a tornado siren. Let's just put this bad boy up, like, right here. Okay, I get a feeling that thing's going to scare the hell out of me at some point. All right, so that took care of that. So we need to kill a creeper, and we need to get 10 obsidian. All right, let's see. You know, it's actually popping in decor decorization one slab one stone stair uh, I think I think we should be able to do this so there is that and there is that perfect all right that gets us five of those that seems a little bit like a waste but okay and then and I, cause I don't really need them but whatever all right and now it wants us to get ink sacks and cactus uh, it also wants to make some of this stuff. These aren't unlocked yet, but I can do them, so that way we're done. Okay, so it looks like just getting... Okay, I already did that one. Make a chisel. That should be pretty easy. Uh, where do I get this stuff? Grass is wonderful. It adds a real nature feel to your base. But what if I told you that you can make your own grass? That's right. Uh, we be bet you'd be interested in that, wouldn't you? I would be bet that I'd be interested in that. You bet your bottom dollar, Missy. Okay, so that one's easy. That one's pretty easy. So it looks like we need to go out and do a little bit of exploring. Now, here's the only downside to the base is I have not made a way out. So 
But we're going to head this way because I see water. And, oh, by the way, this is double thick because well, I know how Minecraft works. Okay, so we have a little bit of water here. So let's see if we can get our hands on a squid. We want to also get uh, some different dyes and whatnots. Let's go ahead and grab the sugar cane while we're out here. We'll just grab the top layer. Uh, oh, there's a squid. Let's go murder him in the face. Yay, squid face, murdered. Oh, and you brought friends. Oh, you brought friends. You think you're tough, do you? All right, let's get this. Did I get it? Where, where, how do I, okay. All right, give me, give me your ink sack. That sounded awful. All right, so there's that. Let's actually get a little, little smacky smack. Where are you going? That, oh, squid, you're drunk. Go home. You're doing it wrong. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and head over here now. Like I was telling you guys, I did kind of fly around to be able to find a decent spot. I wanted an area that was uh, relatively fat, flat, fat. I wanted an area that was relatively fat. But I came across things like this. Now, I did not go in. So we got this thing here, which just... It worries me, is what it does, kids. I just feel there's going to be spawners. There's always spawners. Yeah, see? There's a spawner. There's a chest, but there's a spawner. What does that spawn? Skellies? Let's see if I can get down here. There we go. Take that. Alright. Ooh, some more food. Yeah, this food thing's getting a lot easier if uh, they keep just handing it to me. All right, and here is some cat. Ooh, there's a little temple -y thing. Let's get some of this. All right. And let's just see. Really, I think uh, this is going to be a lot of just kind of scavenging things early on. Um, wow, I have not dealt with one of these in quite a while. Let's, uh, let's get a little couple of these real quick just as uh, building blocks because I know what I'm going to need to do. So, <clears throat> all right. These things tend to be pretty safe. Okay, so... If I... Ooh. Oh, those are spikes. This Did they change this? Alright. So if I just drop here... Oh! Um... Uh... uh Alright, this is gonna happen. Let's just, let's just drink it in. Okay. Well, well, actually, it wasn't too bad. I'm still alive, so... Neener, neener. Pumpkin eater. Walking a little bit slow, but, you know... Whatever. Alright, now I have some, have myself some spikes. Let's kind of clean some of the stuff out of my inventory. What do you guys say? Hmm? Good times? Good times? Yeah? Okay. Alright. Didn't see the pressure playing. Alright, so let's get ourselves some goodies here. Oh, yeah. See, the food thing won't be that big of a deal if they're just handing me all this food. That's pretty awesome, if you ask me. Go ahead, ask me, and dare you. No, I'm just going to say it's awesome. Pale soup. That doesn't sound appetizing at all. Okay, now. Here's where the fun begins. Let's grab these. Let's see if we can get our butts out of here. Alright, and here we go. Put spikes in the bottom of it, and then the one place you can land is a pressure plate. Psychos. Okay. Alright, so we're doing good here. Um, I think we got some stuff that we needed. So, we just got to cook down that cactus green. Um, marble, limestone, cobblestone, and, okay. Yeah, it just wants us to get into some of the chisel stuff. Alright, we're going to be able to do a lot of this pretty easily. This, this, this chapter doesn't seem too bad. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how to get that thing, but... All right, so it looks like the sun is setting. Um, we do have our health back up. Let's keep grabbing these bad got bad boys because this is a way to get um, uh, blaze powder without having to actually get blaze rods. All right, let's see uh, what nastiness is in this side real quick before we head home. All right, and spotter. Okay, and let's keep going. Just mine our way through this bad boy and spawner. Okay. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. And uh, no spawner. Okay. And all right, let's uh, let's get home because I do not want mobs to spawn within our base. We are not secure yet. I need to make more torches and bedtime. Okay, there we go. Take a drink. All right, so we got quite a bit of goodies. Let's go ahead and start getting a few of these things situated here. Uh, once again, a lot of food. Lots and lots of food. Not going to complain about having all of these. Because, I mean, look at this. Look at this. You know, uh, I guess, you know, it's a snack, really? Who's snacking on that? You know, hearty large meal, uh, nourishing feast, feast, wholesome large meal. We're getting some good stuff here, so. Um, you know what? I really don't even want to deal with the stuff in my backpack right now, but I do want to open this. And we got ourselves some money and a potion. Let's just listen there. Okay, so, uh, cactus green. Let's get one of these cooking up here. And throw that bad boy right in there and get that going. Okay, and let's see. So, I don't want to go looking for obsidian yet. That's like an in-between episodes kind of thing. Uh, apple core. Apple core is just put an apple on a crafting station. Do I have an apple? Just one apple. Pretty basic item. I don't have an apple, but okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna so let things roll off our back. We're good. We're go oh two, two, two. All right. So there is. Uh, let's get magenta, and uh, let's get uh, andesite. Okay. Some of these glass ones. What does that get us? That gets us marble and limestone, which is nice. This is that weird one. All right. Uh, agriculture. Well, Jesus, really just kind of throw us to the wolves there, don't you? All right. Uh, so I need to get an apple is basically what I'm hearing at this point, which is kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So let's head over here. I think we had at least one tree over here and... Who knows? Who knows, kids? Maybe we'll get lucky, huh? 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 All right. All right. Let's just kind of let this guy go. And apple? Of course not. That'd be too easy. All right. Well, I guess we'll head outside the base again. Which is okay. A little bit of exploring, getting to know our terrain. Like I said, I didn't really do a whole lot. Oh, I'm starving. I'm starving. Which one of my delicious meals am I going to want to eat? But, alright, so, these beginning quests are pretty basic. We're, we're getting a little, starting to get towards getting out of, like, kind of vanilla-y vanilla stuff. Uh, I'm going to eat one of these hearty breakfasts. Um, so, yeah, you know, but it still is a little bit of grindy and stuff like that, so we'll definitely... Start working on it. Just eat it already. Jesus. So. All right, guys. Well, there you go. So, uh, Modi Inc. is... Uh, I haven't decided if it's... You guys let me know. Modi Industries, Modi Inc., or Modi Co. I kind of like Modi Co. But, let, but you guys let me know down in the comments. So, um, Anyways, guys. So, we have got our new base. And hopefully it stays in one piece. And we are ready to tame the world. As you can see, I... I have some ideas of stuff I'd like to do in reference to like making a factory and you know making different buildings for different stuff. But I want to make sure I didn't want a too big of an area to where it was hard to control, but at the same time I want to be able if I want to make a farm for agriculture, we have plenty of room. And if I want to add other buildings, do other things, we got all that, and that's basically my main purpose here. So alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. And until the next episode of Tame the World, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!